Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Golden Motor. I was just putting this fat bike rim on this bike right here and I thought I'd quickly show you how to measure the dropout length on your bike. So when you're replacing your wheel on your bike, whether it be the rear or the front, you need to know which size axle you need to get to put on there or in this case, what size the hub motor should be. So the dropout length depends if it's the rear, the front, if it's a fat bike, if it's a 100 millimeter fat bike, if it's a 120 millimeter fat bike. So on the screen right now, I'll tell you the most common dropout lengths for front, rear, and then the two versions of the fat bike, but there's definitely other versions too. Okay, now let me show you how to quickly measure your dropout length. So a lot of people make the mistake of measuring from the outside to the outside. You don't want to do that. Or... Uh, some people measure from the middle to the middle, which is also incorrect. If you want to get the accurate reading, um, get it from the inside to the inside. And if you have a caliper, that's even better. Uh, my caliper I, only goes up to 150 millimeters. So I needed it for this fat bike. I needed the tape measure. So this one is 17 centimeters, which is 170 millimeters. So yeah, as we expected on this 100 millimeter fat bike, is the rear is 170 millimeters. So yeah, that's how you guys measure your dropout, man.